Hi, my name is Jolin, Head Instructor and Examiner for CNS Driver Training Center. Today, we will be talking about anti-lock brakes and how to check your anti-lock brake system. Malfunctioning anti-lock brake system, or commonly referred to as ABS, can impact the driver's performance when reacting to emergency situations. ABS is an anti-skid braking system that prevents the wheels from locking up when you force your vehicle to a stop. This automated brake controller applies pressure to the braking system when you press on the foot pedal. Some of its essential functions include traction control, steering control integration, electronic stability control, or ESC, brake force distribution, and emergency brake assist. Let's talk about how the anti-lock brake system works. Anti-lock brake system is designed to detect if a wheel is about to lock up during braking. If it senses that a wheel is about to lock up, it reduces the wheel pressure briefly. Here is how it works. A microcomputer called the Electronic Control Unit, or ECU, is the brain of the ABS system. The drum of each wheel has sensors and toothed rings, or magnetic encoders, also known as ABS rings. The sensors and toothed rings constantly measure the wheel speed. These sensors send signals to the ECU during brake application if a wheel tries to lock up. The ECU transmits electrical pulses to an ABS relay or modulating valve at each wheel which automatically apply, hold, release brake chamber pressure up to as many times as five times per second to prevent wheel lockup. This only happens until a wheel is locked up or no longer a threat. Automatic traction control or ATC feature can be an additional feature installed with the ABS. The ATC uses the same sensors and toothed rings at each wheel and separate the ECU system that regulate the engine's throttle. The ATC feature helps keep wheels from spinning or slipping during acceleration. Here's what you as a professional driver need to know about ABS. If you make sudden stops in a vehicle equipped with ABS, you will use a method called stomp and steer. Stomp and steer means that you apply heavy application to the brakes and you don't let up you may feel the brake pedal throb beneath your foot. You do not pump the brakes as the ABS will pump brakes for you while you steer clear of the reason you suddenly stopped. The ABS system will help you stay in control of your steering and you're more likely to maintain vehicle stability and avoid a collision or a jackknife situation. For vehicles equipped with anti-lock brake system, you must add the ABS check to your pre-trip inspection. When starting the engine, the driver checks the dashboard to ensure that the ABS lighting indicator illuminates and then promptly turns off. Note, if the ABS lighting indicator remains illuminated, that means the ABS is not functioning properly and needs to be taken in for service. For combination vehicles, check the ABS light on the rear or the front of the driver's side of the trailer. If the ABS light is illuminated, the ABS is not functioning properly and needs to be serviced. If you noticed your semi-trailer ABS blink a code, it means an intricate issue associated with your ABS module. Unlike brake lights, ABS lights are typically controlled by a computer module. When this light flashes, it appears as a numerical code, which technicians have to diagnose manually. Remember, when vehicles are equipped with ABS, it is an added safety feature for you, the driver. If they're not working properly, it's not only a safety issue, but also a potential violation with the FMCSA. Roadside inspections include checking ABS indicators. You can find a regulation for ABS in the 49 CFR 393.55. Now you know the basics of the anti-lock braking system. Thanks for joining me and be sure to check out the other CNS Driver Training Center videos for more instructional content.